Hey guys, Cam here. Finally, this Exonic printer pushed off 500 shirts. There may be something here that can make this printer easily squeeze out 500 shirts versus the other printer has to come to my shop to repair. 500 shirts is about the break-even points that you get all your investment back. So I'm going to look into this printer and other printers. I think the difference is in unclogging and cleaning. I'm going to focus on this print at a maintenance button and this white ink circulation system, which I think changed the game. This is a Prestige A3 Plus. We're going to take a look at how this printer cleans itself. Here's the waste tank. Connect it to one waste tube, go underneath the printer. The waste tube is connected to the capping station underneath. There's no added functions to help you to clean the printer. Basically, this tube just extends the capping station and use the printer's building function to clean itself. This is not a problem for the printer like L1800 based. However, for the 1390 based, your problem is the cleaning function is not strong enough. So you often find this tube get clogged and your capping station get clogged. Also, your print head cannot be cleaned. The second printer doesn't have a logo, so I don't want to mention the brand. Panda! Excuse my allergy. Pretty similar design than Prestige. And from the color, this is another 1390. If you look at it, it's really similar to the Prestige I just showed you. It has an ink pump and a pump the ink and the ink circulates to the print head. There's no secondary tank. On top of print head, there's just a normal T and it doesn't have a secondary tank. This printer has four buttons and the Prestige has three buttons. None of them have a white ink circulation button. So when your white ink is not circulating, you want to assist it. What you can do is just shut the printer down and then restart, shut it down and then restart. Single waste tube connect to the cabin station, just like a Prestige. So during the printing, we will have a clock or you have lines show up in your prints. If you run some printer's building cleaning functions and kind of get rid of the clock, let me show you how to do it by hand. This tube is connected to the cabin station, as I mentioned earlier. It's always open connection, or we call the NO connection. No matter if your cleaning motor is spinning or not, the tube is open. And when you print it, it sits on top of the cabin station. The APJ is lowered. It sits on the a rubber seal, which seal the print head. So when you suck at that time, you can suck ink from the nozzles directly. So for the Prestige A3 Plus and this printer, you can connect it to a, a syringe. I like 5 mil syringe. So what you do is you pull slowly to about 5 to 6. Oh, by the way, this is not maintenance. I'm teaching you how to unclog. For maintenance, you pull 2 to 3 mils, but for this, you're going to pull all the way to the 6. The first pull, you won't feel much resistance. And from second and third pull, you're going to make sure that your plunger is going to bounce back, but not bounce back your sucking a vacuum. If you feel like you're sucking a vacuum, that's because your chemistry station is clogged. But if you can suck out the liquid, you do a total of five times, and you should be able to feel the last two times is harder than the first time. Every time after you reach six, you slowly release it. You don't want to stay on the six for too long. I also have a pressure monitor that you can get installed. So you don't risk to draw too hard to delimitate the print head. After that, press and hold the ink button for 2-3 seconds, the printer starts cleaning itself. And you can see, we got a straight through white, so we just unclock it successfully. Now we look at the Pro Color, the newest model, F8. The same thing, you get a white ink pump. Don't pay attention to that big, nice white ink filler. 
and that's my filter. I put it on because this is the second time I get this customer bring this printer back. When you get this repetitive clogging, and then you have to examine how the printer was built. So what's wrong here? Same wide ink circulation design. The ink get pumped and split on the white dampers. Here we get the white ink circulation assist button. And this is nice, so I can just circulate the white whenever needed. Oh, by the way, I do automatic circulation. However, sometimes if you see bubbles, you really want to just move the white ink and uh, get the bubbles gone. You also install motor for the cabin station. However, this pump is between the waste tube and the cabin station, and it's a diaphragm pump. So normally it's closed. So you cannot draw ink out of the cabin station anymore. So we start a cleaning and the motor receives signal. The motor is going to spin and run right out and the motor is going to suck ink from the cabin station. The problem with this is this motor cannot be too strong. If it's too strong all the time, it's going to damage the printhead. However, because it is designed to be weak, you cannot do the strong unclogging like what we did manually earlier. It's good for the maintenance, but it's impossible for unclogging. So this thing runs automatically. You cannot intervene, and you cannot do manual cleaning. So when it clocks, it clocks. Okay, today's order is 60 shirts. For all the production printers, I raised them up so you can print one more shirt per run. And when you have a 60 or 50 shirts, it's important. Beside it, all the tools I use, square bottle, syringe, nothing fancy. This is just a wasted film, so prevent the vacuum platform suck the print in and so it gets stuck on the table. So we're going to print five at a time until it runs to the floor. I'm going to show you from the start to the middle run of this job because I want to have another video concentrate on the shutdown and the maintenance of the printer. So at the end, beginning of the day, we want to have the white ink circulated. So we push the circulation button. Even your tubes are filled, you want to circulate a little bit at the beginning of the day. And now let's talk about the maintenance function of this printer. This button is actually a ink pump underneath the cabin station. It sucks ink from your printhead and dump them into the waste tank. It uses this large tube. The smaller tube actually is the tube also connected to the cabin station. It is similar to the waste tube you saw in the Prestige. Because we do wet capping, so we're going to use the printer's building and cleaning function, suck out the fluid in the cabin station, and see if the printer is clogged or not. So we we'll press and hold the ink button, and the printer is going to start cleaning itself. When it's doing the cleaning, we're going to press and hold the maintenance button and start sucking and cleaning up the cabin station. You can keep holding it when the printer is on it, it's no problem because this pump is not a strong pump. It's, it will not damage the printer, no worries. This button can be used when the cleaning is running, oh, no idea yet. And also when you press the white ink circulation button, so you can press the both the maintenance and the white ink circulation button together at the same time. Okay, I start seeing some white. By the way, my white is on the far left. You can see the white there. Pay attention to this bar on the far left. You might not see uh, white on the cabin station anymore because it's all cleaned up. But we're going to see a white bar if the white ink is not clogged. And here is what it looks like. See all the white. So we start our day all right today. Or we call it all white. <laughs> yeah, your emotion will be totally tied with this white ink. At the beginning, you want to take a logbook and also calculate the time that you're printing. 
you might notice in the middle, I press that ink button and reset the ink. This is 1390. You need to reset your ink every couple prints. So you want to have a probably have a two clocks. Another clock just calculate the time for you to come in and reset the ink. Your printhead will be soft clocked continuously. Let me take a printhead to show you. So this is a printhead. I'm trying to get the reflection here. See the three column of dots? And that's nozzles. That's where the ink come out. When you print, do you notice your ink come out of color first? So here's your color. And the printer going to use two columns of color. They just use half of it, not the whole column. Okay, Those are your four colors. And those are your two white. So you print the color first, then print the white later. So the ink is designed to dry very fast. So for the those unused nozzles, they fill with ink and they expose in the air for half an hour when you're printing. So they'll be clogged. I call it a soft clog because it's really easy to remove. So I just press the white ink circulation system and the print and maintenance button together. I hold it for 5 to 10 seconds and then I hold down the ink button so let the printer do a building print that cleaning. I do this every half an hour of printing because the unused nozzles has been exposed to the air for half an hour. For my design, this design, it takes 25 minutes to print, so it's every run I do a cleaning. Oh, did I say 25 minutes? Actually, it's a little bit more, 27-ish. If you, sometimes you need to reset the ink. And don't worry if it falls on the floor. For some reason, actually, it doesn't matter. When you pick it up, the print is perfect. So I, I sometimes I let it go on the floor a little bit. This extra print is very important if you have a lot of large runs. Okay, it's about 27 minutes each run for five shirts. Remember, when your print is moving, it's making you money. When it's not moving, it's not making you money. So right now, you want to do the cleaning now. Rather than cutting and powdering, you do the cleaning and the sending the next job. This is why I removed the last prints. So now I can do the cleaning and I can send in the next job. And when it's doing that, I can cut. Eventually, you're going to get a hard clock. It's not like a soft clock. You cannot see it because it appears at the nozzle you're not using. Think about this. You see the hard clock, which is nozzle you're using, because your self-cleaning cannot remove it. And that's why it is there and you see it. Now we have to remove it manually. This time we're going to take the small tube. Remember the big tube is the print and maintenance. So small tube gives you another access for the camping station that you can manually unclog. If it is really last chance, you're going to do the 10 mil. However, for regular clock, I just take the 5 mil. We're going to attach to the small tube and draw to 5 to 6. And the first one you're going to feel is pretty easy for, for the water air to get in. If it is hard, that means your camping station is clogged. For example, this Prestige, you can see it just bumps back. Okay, it's like that. Okay, this means the camping station is clogged. The second time is going to go back gradually, like this. Uh, you're going to see either a bluish or whatever color come out, but it won't be black and normally because it's clogged. You won't see white at all. I usually repeat four to five times, so total four or five times. What I'm looking for is harder and harder to pull, and there are more white color coming out. After that, it depends on when you run this. Sometimes I, I hold down both white ink and the maintenance button. But in the middle of the day, normally my white is still good. So I just hold down the maintenance button. And then I press and hold the ink button until it starts cleaning itself. You can keep holding down the maintenance button or you can just release it. It depends on how clean you want. So keep a log, keep timing yourself. 
Remember, when the print ad is not moving, is when you're not making money. So you have to keep that thing moving. Every half an hour of printing, use the print ad maintenance button, do a cleaning. This is not uh, making money right now. Get a second timer for the ink reset. When you see a hard clock, you see lines in your print, make sure you remove that clock using strong cleaning. And watch my next video for the maintenance and shutdown of this printer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.